How's it going, y'all? This is George Fisk coming at you with kayak support brought to you by Barris Kayaks. This week, I got to go creeking for my very first time. We went to two local runs, Mason Creek and Back Creek, both of which are kind of class two plus, low class three creeks in the Roanoke area. I had a lot of fun, learned a lot, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. So when I was putting onto these creeks, I had a couple goals in mind that I was really trying to work on. The first was just learning how to read and run my way down these types of rivers, especially with the wood jams and strainers along the way. I really tried to learn how to look downstream and plan my lines accordingly. The second thing that I was focusing on learning was just where and when to play. River running is awesome, super fun, and once you know how to identify the hazards, then you can look for the fun spots and the cool features that you want to interact with. The third thing that I was really working on was just my basic technique. Just learning how to take really good driving forward strokes, taking boof strokes over holes, and learning how to even side surf a little bit in the hole. All right, so the three main things that I noticed that were different about creeks rather than other rivers that I ran, the first was that they were a lot lower in volume. So that meant that there was less flow kind of moving through the river, but it didn't necessarily mean it was easier or any less gnarly. The second thing that I noticed was that the lines were tight. You had to be technical and precise in order to avoid the wood hazards and strainers and such in the river. The third thing that I noticed was that these runs were continuous. From the moment you put on until the takeout, it was essentially constant rapid. So you really had to know where your eddies were, know how to stop and take a rest, so you didn't just have to bomb down the whole thing. Run. He's so happy. It's brown. It's gonna be good. Woo. All right, so what you guys are seeing here is my first really serious creaking line. I also think that it demonstrates the kind of typical anatomy that you might see in a creaking drop. So as you guys can see, the main rapid is formed by this sort of shelf of rock dropping down from river left to river right and ending in the hydraulic below. But before you can even get to the line, you have to talk about the obstructions a little bit. As you guys can see, there's a kind of log jam formed on river right at the top of the rapid. In a creek, it's not only more likely that a log jam will occur, but when it does, it can take up a pretty significant portion of the river. So for our line here, what we had to do is set up far river left, stay left of that obstruction, get onto the slide, ride it down, and punch the hole below. So I was definitely a little bit nervous going into this line, not necessarily because of the complexity of it, but just because I never really put myself that close to a hazard like the strainer up top. That being said though, I was really stoked on the line that I did get to take. I feel like my position through the whole rapid was perfect and I had a ton of fun going through it. That being said, one thing that I think I can improve for next time would be to take that sort of final stroke before going into the hole and really make it a big vertical charging kind of boof stroke to really lift my bow up and over the hole.
but I think this child needs a home. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed Back Creek and Mason Creek. I had a ton, out, ton of fun out there and definitely learned a lot. But I think every river has something to teach you and I've still got a whole lot more to learn. But that's what kayak support is for. Make sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment below and tune in next Wednesday for our new video. We're going surfing!